Hi Pisces, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have what are their true intentions and in love we do. And so we have these oracle cards here so far, right? And we're going to get into the tarot in just a minute. And uh, we have enjoy the mystery and walk without feet. You know, there's something here that you either you want to do. It looks like somebody here is telling somebody something. Uh, about their feelings like you know like don't feel so bad or trying to console somebody it could just be talking about feelings right oh I really loved you and or or maybe blippity blip who knows right kind of like but uh, there's something here somebody could be telling you something or you're telling somebody something it's either or right yeah either or it is uh, we also have the lover here and here the lady you know she holds the mirror in her hand this is talking about somebody might want to get out and be seen. Uh, they could. They might want to, like, go out. It could be that simple. But uh, it can talk about somebody who's dealing with low self-worth here. And it can talk about a lover. There could be a lover here that you might... I'm not sure if you are. You could be telling somebody that possibly that you have a lover here maybe that you're maybe that you're gonna you're gonna walk right you're gonna like walk away from somebody maybe because enjoy the mystery talks about you know have courage and you know dive into the unknown that's life is you know life is about mystery it sure is uh you know mm -hmm. uh, but don't think that well what they're doing right now is such a mystery these people who are the powers uh, these are all lies and all about their special interests uh, in other places and mm -hmm, no concern for this uh, for us if you guys know what I mean and I'm not talking about these lovers right or boyfriends or girlfriends let's look at uh, walk without feet though that's another card you have here Pisces yeah and we see these people flying right Mm hmm and so walk without feet I feel like that's another card that says you know have courage kind of like enjoy the mystery right yeah don't be afraid of the unknown all the time right this is see, see what it says here walk without feet fly without wings think without mind yeah life is so mysterious you cannot define it it is not possible it would be unjust and incorrect Mm-hmm. All these people are trying to, these people, these powers that be, they want to be God, right? And it's saying here that, you know, uh, life is just a mystery and kind of leave it there, sort of, right? Uh, with, you know, respect to certain things, not everything. A mystery must remain as such. All definitions are the fruit of past experience. Totally true, right? Stop being anchored to the past. Yeah, this talks about having courage for the future. Stop being anchored to the past. The larger it is, the greater the weight oppressing you will be. The more you are oppressed, the more incapable you are of living in the present. Yes. In this case, the present is only a word. You do not experience it. Yeah. Uh, there could be somebody here, you know, you might be, like, kind of hurting somebody's feelings. It's all, it's a possibility here, right? Or maybe your feelings are hurt here. Somebody wants their own kind of new mystery. That's what's uh, happening in this reading. Let's see what we have for Pisces. Let's see what we have for Pisces, please. Pisces and their person. Yeah, Pisces and their person. We have the Queen of Cups, and that is you for sure. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what we have for Pisces. The Queen of Pentacles is showing up here in your reading, and she's in the reverse. This could be somebody you're telling, uh, somebody you're telling something to, or somebody who is telling you something here. But whatever it is, it's very upsetting. It is because this man, he's brought her news and he's consoling her, right? And she's sitting down and he's kind of like trying to reassure her with you know his hand on her elbow and her shoulder uh, with kind words. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have. Looks like somebody has their own mystery here. Uh, and they're taking a leap of faith, kind of, and moving on to new ventures. It could be you, right? It could be either or. We have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the World card. It looks like it is your person, though, in this reading, right? The whole reading could be switched, you guys, because these are, uh, these are not private readings, right? So let's see what else we have, you guys. And, yeah, yeah, your person is... 
for me, your person could be afraid of you, Pisces. They have the high priestess in their fear and their doubt. <laughs> that could be you, right? They might be afraid here. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe they were afraid before because uh, we have walk without feet and enjoy the mystery. They're both saying, they're both implying that so you need courage in this life, right? Yeah, you need courage. Uh, maybe this person was afraid. Somebody here is talking about their feelings. I feel like they're probably being consoled. And uh, then we have a new venture that is being taken. And I believe uh, whoever is on this new venture was afraid to, uh, afraid to do this in the past. Uh, they could be, you know, maybe they have courage. They probably have courage now, not maybe. And also, uh, it could be either or. The person who was afraid or was afraid to take a leap of faith that is not afraid anymore, it looks like, could have been the person who is being consoled. It could have been somebody who was walking away who was consoling the other person. Because it kind of looks like an ending in this reading here. We see uh, the world card right here. Uh, what's on your person's mind here and here they have the two of wands uh, as their challenge like movement or a choice right you're fearing here uh, this ten of cups P Pisces you could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn or maybe somebody with a lot of you know earth in their chart you look like you're doubting here or you are fearing this ten of cups you might be married to somebody here or you're doubting or fearing that somebody has their, uh, their happily ever after that they are like taking a leap of faith on. It does look like that. We have a couple completions already in the reading. We have the Ten of Pentacles, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like you, you feel like you have to reject somebody here uh, because this person could be taking action or maybe you feel rejected, right? This person, it looks like they're taking action here and this is your challenge. You have the Knight of Swords. It does look like it could be this earth sign. It could be another water sign. It could be, uh, yeah, it could be, mm hmm So far, this is all we have, right? So let's see what we have. Uh, let's get a couple of, uh, let's get a couple of clarifiers here. And you look like you're unhappy here in a union. You might be married to this person. You could. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is here. Yes, with the Four of Wands. You look like you're unhappy and you're married to somebody. It looks like you are either rejecting somebody or you feel very unhappy here. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks like you are becoming single and you don't feel happy about that. You might have to reject somebody here. Uh, you could for an ending, right? Yeah, this reading's a trip because it does look like... Uh, it almost looks like somebody wants an ending, but they're kind of afraid as well. It does kind of look that way, right? And uh, your challenge is the Knight of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. Your person might have been giving to two people here, or they, or there are three people involved, possibly. It's possible here. Here we see three people on the Six of Pentacles, right? And then we have the Ace of Swords. Your challenge, I feel like, looks like it's a victory right? Mm -hmm. You might have to cut somebody out for a victory or, you know, or vice versa. Yeah. And uh, your person starts out with the two of cups, Pisces, and we have the ace of pentacles. They have the world card here. Mm -hmm. They, this is the, your person looks like they, like in the past, it looks like they were in, either in love with somebody possibly, or you were because, right? Let's see what else we have. The Four of Swords. This person was in 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 reflection here, introspection here about a new opportunity in love, and they were mm -hmm. somebody that they're into. It looks like over here. Here they have the Seven of Pentacles with the World card on their mind, wondering uh, if they're going to close out a cycle. It looks like or have a new have their wish. The World card, a major wish fulfillment, and then they have the Two of Wands and the Five of Wands in their challenge. This person, this could be competition here. They might have had to choose the two of the two of uh, wands. Can be a choice. It can uh, like a crossroad and a choice. We have the four of pentacles and the five of cups. This is uh, what this person is, is hoping for. They hope to hold on to somebody here. Four of pentacles. Maybe it's money. Uh, they do have a lot of uh, 
a fair amount of pentacles down here. And so do you. Mm -hmm. This person uh, is wanting to either hold on, hold on to somebody here, or uh, this could be them wanting to hold on to you. Uh, but the reading looks here that you know that they are the ones who are like they they're the ones who look like they have somebody that they're trying to move toward. That's how it looks here. Maybe that maybe not. Maybe it's you because here they are grieving the five of cups. This could be saying they want an ending in their life, but they know they're going to grieve here. They're going to cause grieving. That's kind of how this reading uh, kind of shapes up here. We have the and uh, the high priestess and the tower is their fear here. Maybe, uh, you know, they could be like fearing you'll find out. Maybe this person is choosing somebody here. And you don't like they're not being honest with you about it. That could totally be be here. But, you know, you know here that you're going to be single or that you need to be single, either one, right? We have the Nine of Pentacles here. I feel like a decision was made in the past by one of you. Mm -hmm. uh, but this person here could be fearing maybe uh, a big shakeup for you. It's possible. They could be also kind of fearing an ending with a secret. Right? The high priestess sometimes is a secret. Let's get a card on their doubts and their fears. Let's see what else we, let's see what we have. We have the five of pentacles. I feel like this person is afraid uh, if they move on to be with somebody that somebody will leave them out. This person will leave them out. This two of cups person, yeah, that your person has over here. It can be too, like, they could be worried, like, well, if I leave Pisces out or if Pisces leaves me out... <coughs> This other person might leave me out too. Possibly here. Because your person has two fives here and they are, uh, you know, turning events, right? In fact, your person looks more, they look like they are moving on to be with somebody here, but they look like they're afraid. Yeah, they do. And so, you know, in the challenge here, they this person has the five of wands, the five of cups. These are turning points and major changes in their life. It is. And they are very challenged by this with these two fives, you know, side by side. Let's get a card there. They feel challenged. They feel uh, like a, this is a struggle for them. The Knight of Wands, probably to take action here, most likely, is like very stressful for them. They don't know what's going to happen. Here they have the Seven of Pentacles. Like, I don't know what's going to happen with this. So... Let's see. Let's see what we have, Pisces. Let's see what we have. We're going to start the gypsy spread, and we're going to do it in the extended. We are. And we're going to have your person's uh, spread, right? So let's see. Let's start this, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about the extended. Let's see what we have for Pisces and their person. This spread here, uh, you know, of course, could be both. Could be uh, just their energy, but it could definitely be both. Show me the energy for Pisces and their person. Uh, we have the money card in the heart of the matter. Maybe you guys have money together. We see this table full of money. Uh, we see a cabinet full, of, uh, like a safe, a big safe full of money. And maybe you are in a relationship with somebody where there's money, right? And I said there's a fair amount of pentacles in this reading. The ten, the nine, the six. The ace, the seven, the four, and the five. I mean, I feel like they're all here. What's missing? Two of Pentacles is not here. The ace is here. The three of Pentacles. Uh, okay, so we're missing, what, the, the three and the two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the four is here, the five is here, uh, the six is here, the seven is here, OMG, uh, I'm not seeing the eight here, uh, and uh, the nine, mm -hmm, and the ten, OMG, yeah, there's some money here, right, there is, let's see what else we have, some type of financial stability, in the past was the thief, this is somebody who, he's returning to this apartment, right, to steal, but this is somebody in the past who has caused 
uh, either heartache or loss or was cheating or is lying here. The melancholy card coming into play. Yeah, this is kind of sadness here. We It is. We have the scholar showing up as the obstacle. This is somebody who has learned something and in the outcome is the prison here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where somebody feels stuck. And we're going to uh, talk all about this, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and uh, clarify these. This is very, this is incomplete. We are. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see how they feel about you, how they are seeing the situation, the environment they're in, Pisces, and what they might want to say to you, what you don't know about this person, and their true intentions or their outcome. Thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, God bless. We're also going to look at their external influences. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.